Ladies and gentlemen, the horses are ready to the posts for this evening's first division for the 1995 Scarlet O'Hare Eliminations. Three of the Philly Pacers racing one mile. Purse of $10,000. First two finishers from each division will return along with the third fastest. Here is the lineup for the first elimination off the rail will be our inheritance, a three-year-old daughter of Falcon Sealster for the mark of 157 and three earnings of $98,000. Over the WG James Stables of Blackstock, Ontario. Driven tonight by Roger Mayot. The one is our inheritance. Number two is Sam Sweetest, a brown daughter of Ohio standing noble and Sam. With a two-year-old mark of 158 and three earnings of $13,000. She's owned by Jim Vest of London. Give the night by Chip Noble. Number two, Sam's sweetest. Number three, TM Good Time Woman, a, a bay daughter of Ohio standing merger. Owned by Tom and Marsha Janecki of Perrysburg, Ohio. With a two-year-old mark of 201 and two at Raceway Park, earnings of $9,000. Give the night by Jim Mullinex, the three, TM Good Time Woman. Number four is Keystone Maya, a bay daughter of Warren Breeze. With a two-year-old market, 156 and one, earnings of $75,000. Over Judith Davis of Blairsville, Pennsylvania. Dick Stillings driving tonight on the four, Keystone Maya. Five is Handy, a bay daughter of Amber Crombie. With a two-year-old market, 155 and three, earnings of nearly a quarter million dollars. Owned by Richard Staley of Los Angeles, California, driven tonight by D.R. Ackerman. The five is Hattie. Number six is Light on Her Feet, a bay daughter of Falcon Sealster, with a three year mark of 157 and one, earnings of $18,000. She's owned by Stuart Coleman and Goldsmith of Florida and Kentucky. Driven tonight by Dave Miller, it's the six Light on Her Feet. Number seven, Ambro Nadia. Bay daughter of Jake Lobel, with a material mark of 157 and one, earnings of $41,000. Over the Jack Darling Stables, Smith and Smith of Ontario, Canada, Jeff out driving the seven, Ambro Nadia. Riding out the field for the first elimination, number eight, fittingly. Here is another Bay daughter of Falcon Sealster, with a three year mark of 158 and one, earnings of $13,000. Over Lewis Patrick and Paul Phillips of Ohio, Dave Pallone driving number eight, fittingly. First division, three-year-old of Philly Pacers are on behind the gate. The gate swings into the back stretch, and there they go. Off stride, TM Good Time Woman. And they're off. The four Keystone Mia is first to leave, and Hattie alongside came with her second. From the outside, a third is light on her feet. Sam Sweetest from the inside came away fourth. Early five comes Ombro Nadia to the inside, pacing a sixth. It's our inheritance. To the inside, a seventh. It's fittingly. And far back, the trailer, TM Good Time Woman. Nearing that first quarter mile marker in Stillings has Keystone Me on the front leading the way. But here comes light on her feet. Rushing quickly to take the lead at the first stop, a quick 27 and 4, and the 6 light on her feet, surging to the front, will take command, Keystone Mia, will tip right back to the outside to retake the lead, and Keystone Mia, charging to the front, zipping up, will take command. Inside, yielding second, it's light on her feet, she's behind heavily favored Keystone Mia now, followed by Hattie, who's racing a third, and here comes Ambro Nadia, Searching desperately for live cover is first up on the outside, racing a fourth, followed closely, five by our inheritance. And Sam Sweetest is now shuffled back, sixth on the rail. They reach the half in 58 and three. Rounding the turn and down the back side they go, and it's Keystone Mia back on top. She's reclaimed the lead by a length and a half. And Ombro Nadia is first up on the outside, racing a second. Light on her feet is now locked in a third. Hattie locked in a fourth. Outside our inheritance. Gap in the cover badly is fifth. Sam Sweetest saving ground a sixth. Fittingly alongside is seventh as they reach the three quarter mile marker, 127 and one. And on the front, Keystone Mia continues a lead now by two. Light on her feet. Fighting Daylight is chasing a second. Hattie slipping up the inside, pacing a third as they turn for home. Last center an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Keystone Mia looking strong by two. Light on her feet to the outside is coming to her. Here comes Hattie, three across the track. It's still Keystone Mia. Hattie the outside, light on her feet between them. Two at the wire in 155 and four. The photo will be with the four. 
Keystone Mia and a six light on her feet. And on that evening, again, we'll be having the Scarlet O'Hare Lookalike Contest. For all you ladies who might be interested in that contest, contact Tom White here at Scioto Downs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is the official winner now of the first elimination for the Scarlet O'Hare. Number four, Keystone Mia, three-year-old daughter of Warren Breeze. Out of Keystone, Marsha by Bye Bye Bird, owned by Judith Davis of Blairsville, Pennsylvania. Richard Gillock, the trainer, Dick Stillings in the sulky. She comes in from the Meadows, off a win there. Her second season's victory here this evening in record time, 155 and a four-fifths. 